just me. Why, you remember that lovely beauty salon where you and the lion went to get the perms and the hairdresser sang, In the very old land of Oz. <laughs> well, the crows have overwhelmed that entire complex. Now all one can get are cornrows and crimp jobs. And no one can understand what they're singing. Your mother might have would have got a glance. <laughs> you could have danced, but you could dance. <laughs> See? Wicked. Little do they know that I'm inventing my own wings. <laughs> then we'll see who plays who. We shall sure will. Oh, come on, Scarzy. I'm a Kansas farm girl. I know crows. They might have a wicked nature, but they don't have the ambition to follow it very far. Oh, oh it wasn't their wicked nature that brought them here. Huh? It was their empty crawl. That cornfield you speak of? Devoured. Stripped. Picked so clean. Alas, even the field mice starved. Well, you can always plant more corn. Oh, not that field. Why, after they stripped it, they had it declared a historical ethnic site. <laughs> Covered it in basketball courts. Then the wicked devils had the nerve to march on the Emerald City Gate and demand more corn. Why, I wouldn't even grace their demands with a reply. Let them eat. Basketballs, I told the gate. Hey, 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 oh, calm down. You too. It can't be as bad as all that. Oh, can't it? No. Look. <gasps> this is as close as I've come to corn in ages. Styrofoam popcorn. The same oh. all over Oz. We are the hollow men. We are the stuffed men, oh, baby. leaning together, head stuffed with styrofoam. We have become wind bait. Wind bait. Don't shoot. Get away, you trouble. Why don't you blow? Wind bait. Wind bait. Yeah, I gotta blow, but I ain't gonna budge. What? Synthetics. <laughs> Seems like the smart thing to do. Well, but it was. now I, I find that I'm haunted by a menace What's that's that? worse than fire. What's it that? can't be extinguished. It's always waiting to, to swoop down out of the cloud and suck the very something from my mouth. Oh, well, snap out of it! I told you, I'm not here to help you with your hungry crow problem. Now let's get this thing done for the whiz, so I can get back to La La Land, and you can get some professional help for that crophobia of yours. Oh, 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 You know, Professor, I think you should write yourself a prescription for Prozac, Doctor. The wind isn't hungry, is 
salvation. The dervishes. Oh, we've got to give it a chance. Your lottery chance ain't ever gonna win. No, you devils, you wait until I get my wings. Right wing is wrong. Oh, Your right it, wing is, is wrong. Is that thunder? Oh! I hear it there. Well, that must be your persuader now. Who it is? I know who it is. It's an electrified man. Ah! 
a throne, neither a humble hut nor a royal throne. So none shall escape the wrath of Woden's blast. Oh, Weatherman, Weatherman, there it is, the Weatherman. Oh my God, I'm getting out of here. Ah, we'll quiet those crows. Now you know, in this continent and on this nation, this great nation of ours, there's been some unusual weather. There have been more tornadoes in Tornado Alley in the last two years than there have been in all recorded history. Listen to shit. He's talking, he's talking shit. From the oceans, different winds have been coming in, both hot, cold, and in between. As I will point out here, point it out. Look here on the East Coast, just off. New York City, a tremendous wind was blowing. Came in here, blew three cars into the East River. Right about that area. Down here, a wind sweeping, sweeping in, sweeping from the Gulf of Mexico out of the Atlantic Ocean, comes into Florida, knocks airplanes off their field. Blows all the lawyers from Florida all the way to California. The wind blew in all the way up into Portland, Oregon, and called all the trees in the Portland to turn green with envy because the Indians up here with their teepees planted securely to the ground. We're all knocked down. But worst of all, worst of all for these bad, bad crows, bad, bad, bad crows, all the weather, the hot wind from Canada meeting the hot wind from down here in the Gulf caused unprecedented flooding up and down the Mississippi River. All the corn was flooded. The cornfields were done in, and the crows died. We've got a name for the wind's destructive power. What's that? Unlike the trees known by their fruits, it's known by what it devours. Oh, all together. Some call it void with vacancy. Some call it deprivation. But folks way down in Emerald Town, they call the wind starvation. Starvation, starvation, they call the wind starvation. Come on, folks. Starvation, starvation, they call the wind starvation. Our wolf's drooling at your door, and you're afraid to heal. But I am stuck with Star of Home, and I know what it takes to feed it. Eat it. This wolf was whelped in a witch's lair, raised on shrinking rations. And when at last the shells are bare, you can feed that wolf starvation. Your Empty bottles cry for drink, and empty heads for filling. Beneath, beneath these cries, you will hear a thing you're chilling. It knows not home nor the honeybee. It knows not race or nation. It knows not the vine nor the apple tree. It only knows starvation. Starvation. 
sound as healthy as she looks. And this whole scene is beginning to sound sicker and sicker, if you ask me. Find your seats and settle down. The clock is running. I think time flies when he's swarming all over his script this gamey. So uh, tell us, Don Pardo, what's next and who's pitching? Our second category is the Lonely Virus! Ah, poor little guy, like he's got bad breath or something. He has no breath at all! Well, well, what the hell is a virus anyway? A virus is, uh, perhaps we should defer to the professional expertise of our learned colleague, Nurse Glenda. Would you mind stepping out into the real world and giving us a definition? Shut it off. And now, Glenda the Good Witch. Virus, from the Latin, virus meaning a slimy liquid, a poison, a malodorous fluid. In modern scientific usage, it is a sub-microscopic organism containing genetic data in the form of deoxyribonucleic acid, DNA, or ribonucleic acid, RNA. These data can reproduce only when they enter a host cell. The host metabolism is then subverted by program commands from the virus so that viral replication is favored. The subverted cell then becomes the unwilling wet nurse to thousands, no millions of viruses. Gee, it sounds like these little alligators are up to their asses in each other. Then why so lonely? Because they are solitary. They replicate in search of one another. But of course, the replication is just as solitary and produces only more of the same. They're traditionally pretty stupid. And our biologic systems have been able to get a readout on their characteristics and mount a defense. But they keep coming back century after century, and they keep getting smarter, like the Borg. <laughs> And so are their unhappy hosts. Hark, is that the approach of our next helper? It 
is. And Dorothy, won't you try to be a trifle sweeter? Uh, and end up like a ludicrous lollipop like some I could name. Not me, sister. Hey, come on in, Tinners. I'd recognize that step any. <gasps> oh, my. What's happened to you? You look so bad. I f f feel bad. B -b -b bad to the crow. Oh. oh, oh, wait. Here, I'll oil your jaw. No, no, the jaw can wait. But here. Huh? Here. There? Please. Ew, okay. Oh, Dorothy, you're an angel, an absolute angel. No, hardly. How did you get stuck like that? Did another evil witch dump a freezing rain on you? Oh, a whole lounge full of them, actually. Oh. Oh. Froze me solid before my coffee nudge with cinnamon came. <gasps> and I thought they were my f f friends. Oh, stop that. You don't start crying. You're leaking bad enough as it is. Who's to blame for getting you in this awful condition? Those friends? No, it was my heart. <gasps> oh. My foolish heart. Oh. It loves not oh. wisely, but too much. And too many. Oh. Then again, it could have come in through my modem. Oh. I network a lot. <laughs> and I have shared my oil can a time or two. <laughs> oh, what does it matter? It's all that same <laughs> freezing oh, rain. Oh, man, I'm sorry. Isn't there anything I can do? Well, a, a touch more of the 30 weight, perhaps? It eases the ache. Oh. There's a sweetheart. Uh, I hope this wasn't the miracle solution the wizard promised. It sounds pretty empty. In my opinion, it's too late for any miracle solution. <gasps> oh. The very gates that guard the body's temple have been breached. Oh. The locks picked. The security code oh. broken. Enemies, both ancient and new, are coursing through our corridors. Unchecked. Push, 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 push. Would you like to hear a little list Nurse Glenda and I have put together in alphabetic order? Oh, uh, not unless I have to. Oh, you're right. That first A word is just too terrible to begin with. We'll start at the bottom with the Z's. <laughs> Nurse, if you please. Certainly. Zymogenic infestation. Whooping cough and complication. Yellow fever yaws. Vaginitis, urethritis. And related bugs that bite us even, even in, in the land of Oz. Typhoid, toxoplasmosis. Tetanus, rash, tuberculosis. Several scrofulas of skin. Scratch, 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 be scratch. And according to prognosis, polio, reticulosis is on the rise again. Pericarditis, pernicious. It slowly attacks your heart holding sac. And equally vicious. Just wait, there's more. It's organ. An attack is as vicious but painfully slower. The sack it attacks and making much lower. Leprosy and jaundice come me once again to haunt us. From the darkest days of yore. Unclean, unclean, and he clean. Then Kaposi spreads sarcoma. Killer rust with bad aroma. If, if we, we only, only had, had a cure. Forty kinds of influenza play cacaphonic cadences up and down our windy pipes. Heart and head and Hodgkin's disease. Herpes, 
Bees spawn the A's and the B's. Hepatitis, German measles. And the emphysemic wheeze. <laughs> Hydrosarcoma. Mercy, like poor old four stands from bed, it gets worse. A fungus that flourishes in middle-aged males, mildewing the membranes where memory dwells, and doing mischiefs too awful today. Coxiomycosis. More of the same. Thank you. And adrenal carcinoma. And lastly, as I warn, oh, at the front door of your homo, a quiet, immune deficiency syndrome. Oh, the pick lock that cracks our security code inviting all these unwelcome guests into our humble abode. Oh. oh, oh, come on, Tin Man. Moaning about it won't help. All I know is I hear a lot of moaning out there. And it breaks my heart. And my heart tells me there's only one thing this old Tin Man can't do, but... 